crashing cars we used to share. I recently caught up with the Academy Is, who released their album Fast Times at Barrington High, and I asked them what their favorite memories were from high school. And I found out that Adam uh, had a crush on his bus driver. Gives me incentive to go into public transportation when I graduate. Check it out. You can get hot, hot high schoolers. What's better? How's it going? I'm William. And I'm Adam. And we're from the Academy Is. And you are watching On The Verge. Hey, I'm with Adam and William from the Academy Is. And you guys just came out with an album this summer, mm -hmm. Fast Times at Barrington High, which is where you guys went to high school. Is yes, that right? True. Awesome. Very true. What are your favorite memories from high school? Hmm. I think one of mine is well, I was a freshman and he was a junior and uh, he had been writing songs on a piece of guitar by himself and performing them for people. Mm -hmm. I remember ditching class to come see him play in the cafeteria and uh, he did a great job, I remember. Other than that, I think um, Probably just riding the school bus. I rode it the whole time I was in high school. You know, riding the school bus. Most most kids, you know, especially girls, like friend the older guys who like drive them home from school. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have too many friends. All my friends after he left, all my friends were younger than me. Well, you befriended the, the older women, like your bus drivers. Yes. Like just much, much older. Interesting. Yes. So, so you and the bus driver. Yeah, there's a little chemistry what between was, me and the bus name? driver. And. Old Ann. Paint a picture for me. Uh, I think, uh, what's that lady from Drew Carey? She was beautiful. Yeah, she looked like Drew Carey with uh, long hair. Long hair. So, uh, <laughs> she was gorgeous. Really something. She sounds fantastic. Uh, yeah, so those were good times. Great kisser. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> that would be very scandalous. Um, <laughs> High school was potentially your inspiration for this album? Well, um, I think that the biggest inspiration that was drawn from high school is purely because that was when we discovered um, how, I mean, we basically discovered our love for music and songwriting in high school, and uh, while it basically like set me free and set us free, uh, it, it, you know, my devotion to it was also one of the main reasons why I was cast out of a lot of the social, you know, circles as well in high school um, but the friends th that I did have were you know my best friends and you know Adam was always my best friend and all of my favorite memories uh, from high school are, are definitely um, the trouble and the fun that we'd get into uh, you know oh, oh, whether we had a crush on the same girl or whether we were um, you know he's you know. Always, uh, always. Look at that face. There must have always. been a time. There must or you broke his heart. Many times. <laughs> Not that I did this. I'm sorry, man. I'd muster up the courage to ask a girl on a date, and, and uh, then you know she'd come out to a social gathering with me, and then fall in love with this guy right away. Oh. So yeah, it was always a little rough. <laughs> the, the lunch ladies especially loved me. They uh, did. You know, it's it, funny actually. It's because you uh, attended lunch more than you attended class. Yeah, I was always in the lunchroom. And even s at, since graduating, sometimes if I'm hungry and I'm driving by the school, I stop by. It's really good and food, And the lunch right? lady gets it's awesome. Like, it's awesome. What, Sloppy Joe's? It's not, I mean. It's like, <laughs> it's like store. Belly Buster? It's actually <laughs> real, real good food at our high school. It's pretty high end. And uh, you know, like McDonald's so, and stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah, no, so I'd stop in, visit the lunch lady, and she'd give me a free meal, and then I'd get back on the road. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I had that system going on for a long time, and it was pretty fun. But now there's all these rumors that we're playing at Barrington High. <laughs> I really want. I mean, my, my mom calls me, and she's like, "You guys, so you guys are playing this weekend?" I'm like, "Mom, we're playing in like, like Baltimore." <laughs> and, you know, so. But, uh, but yeah, maybe we will someday. If you live too far ahead of yourself, you're going to miss out on, 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 on everything that's right in front of you, and um, that's all the good stuff, all, all the good stuff's the stuff that's here right now, and the people that you're around, and the environment that you're in, and you know, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, um, everything is 
is essential, I think, to, uh, to, to living a full and happy life. Yeah, that's, I mean, it took me so long to learn that I actually, it's the first sutra of the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, is that <laughs> yoga is now, it's the present, mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool that you had said that, and it's all about not thinking, not dwelling in the past, or thinking too far in the future, because then you'll miss what's going on right now, Yeah, which is cool, and that's what you guys are doing. I think one thing with our band is we want to uh, we want to show our fans you know, that anything is possible, and that, uh, you know, as, a, as opposed to just sitting around and, and continue with the dream, you know, and I mean, because my whole childhood I dreamed about playing in a band, you know, but um, we actually got out there and started doing it, you know, and I think that that's, uh, there's something to be said about that. I mean, no one would have guessed us to be the guys, you know, that pursue a career in music. Don't tell me it's over.